Hi guys and welcome. I'm Buddy1927 and today this is my real life. Um, this is episode 9. Okay. Last, last my real life I did was back in um, March of 2017. Today is May 6th of 2017. I had to look on the calendar. That's what I was looking at. Um, and I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. What's going on with me? And so on. Well, I'm still waiting for Social Security Disability for a hearing. Um, I found out that I went from an inactive file to active st inactive status to active status. But I still don't got a, a date for my hearing. It's been five years now and I'm still in the process. Um, North Carolina, um, real a bit, uh, North Carolina, real bit, uh, um, I was going through a program through North Carolina, uh, to see if they can help rehabilitate me, uh, North Carolina Rehab, that's what it was, North Carolina Rehab, which is sponsored by the state of North Carolina, they basically see if they can um, find you, a, they try to, any medical situations and do that. I, I was with them for three years. Um, they sent me to doctor after doctor telling, basically tell them, hey, he can't do anything. They finally told me that um, the only job that you are qualified for, because they help you find jobs, the only job that you are qualified for is a home-based business but we don't have any currently we don't have any home-based business opportunities for you so there's nothing we can basically do for you at this current time so I'm like okay that's fine so that's been kind of that, that that's I, I, I can't get disability because the state of North Carolina, state of North Carolina says I'm not handicapped, so the state of North Carolina has to declare me as handicapped before I can um, receive Social Security disability. But yet the state of North Carolina DMV has issued me permanent handicap tags. Because, you know, I, I have, I can't walk. I have neuropathy, diabetic neuropathy in both my legs and both my hands. I have to walk with a cane. I can't stand for long periods of time. can't short, sit for long periods of time. But, so the state of North Carolina DMV issued me, I qualify for permanent handicap tax. Not temporary handicap tax, but permanent handicap tax. So I got that. Um, I can't. I can't do anything uh, much. I worked about three weeks ago. I was working, you know, springtime, trying to help. I'm living with my mother because I have zero income right now. So I moved in with my mother, and I'm in a bonus room in her house, which is actually pretty good because I'm able to set up my whole studio, my YouTube studio. So I can do my gaming videos, and I'll have my bed in here, um, my TV, my dogs. As you can hear, I have my dog that you can hear. Uh, she has a dog, but I got my TV set up in my room. So I got like a little living room, very small living room, a bed, uh, my YouTube set up. I have no closet, so she had a hanging closet thing that is in the attic so all my clothes all my hanging clothes are in the attic so I have to go into this unfinished attic to go get my clothes um, but the room's big enough and hey it's a lot bigger than my trailer to be honest with you though the only the only difference between my um, trailer I was living in and you've seen seen some of those videos the 1976 trailer I was living in and where I'm living now is there's no bathroom or kitchen 
in here in my room it's downstairs but I mean it's bigger than where I had my equipment so I actually have more livable spaces in the in this area I, we have I have an upstairs bathroom that that I share with my nephew who's also living in the house um, my mom lives she has a master bedroom with bathroom and everything down on the first floor so mom broke her leg so I had to take care of her she's finally healed on that but my diabetes is getting worse I'm, um, I got diabetic rit retinopathy in my right eye so I'm legally blind in my right eye but I can I'm ha I still have what was it 20 40 vision in my left eye so I can still uh, drive thank God but my vision's gone from in my right eye from 2400 to 2100 which is still legally blind and I can't see I got no I can't like if I close my eye if I look straight ahead I can't see my hand right now I, I can't I can't see my hand right now if I put it like that which is dead center I can't see my hand but I can see the computer screen on the left and right so my peripheral vision is actually returning um, but I still receive a shot in my eye which is very painful <laughs> but it continues my life continues um, doctor basically told me that my vision in my right eye is getting better but more than likely I will not be able I wouldn't I'll still have that little dark circle in my right eye damage has been done my diabetes which caused that and the neuropathy is was under control I've lost weight I was losing weight I still eat the same way I'm still losing weight I'm trying to get down to the um, weight that I need to be at and my diabetic my diabetes I was I had it under control for about six months I mean but I'm, I'm taking I was taking um, 20 units of uh, Landis and 2,000 milligrams of metformin but in the past um, I had a control for six months I mean I was feeling good I was losing weight I was doing everything that I need I wasn't losing weight fast I was maybe losing a pound a month which is actually pretty good that's way you I need to be um, but all of a sudden my diet my sugar started spiking and my a1c started going up so I'm up now to 55 units of land it's still on 2,000 milligrams which is the max of um, metformin I can take I'm going to a free clinic because I have zero income. I don't have any health insurance because I don't qualify for Medicaid unless I'm disabled. But the state of North Carolina has to classify me as disabled to be able to get Medicaid and Social Security disability. Okay, and that's taken now five years. So I go to this free clinic. Um, but it's very limited what they can do. They help me with my medicine. Um, they get they work with um, the drug companies because they have programs where you can get free medicine. And since I have zero income, I, I qualify. Um, so I'm working on it. But um, I got an appointment tomorrow with not tomorrow. Monday this is Saturday Monday I have an appointment at the clinic and um, they're gonna put me on human log they haven't determined how much human log they're gonna put me on but they're gonna put me on human log and we're gonna go from there just to see what's going on um, so that'd be a third diabetic medicine so that's two shots every day I gotta take in the abdomen so my health wise I'm not doing good 
But on the other side, I'm getting to do more YouTube videos. Primarily H1C Just Survive videos. Um, I've been doing these videos now for a while and I've been sporadic doing it. But now I'm trying to get back since, since my problems I've had with my back and stuff like that. I'm trying to get back up to a regular pro, um, regular process of putting out videos. So my goal is to put out a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, three days, uh, three times a week. Um, keep you all up uh, to get you going on that and um just go from there doing these video uh doing the, these h1z videos i'm also doing more live streams now so i'm doing like behind the scenes i'm doing h1z1 just five um building um like base building videos and I, when I, i'm doing live streams of behind the scenes videos um of what you have to do to be able to get um to be able to build the base all the stuff you have to collect and how to collect it and you know i'll collect i'll do a live stream of collecting the materials i need and maybe building some components then i'll do a video on the build itself so it's yeah i'm i'm my channel's growing which i appreciate uh thank you all Thank you to all my subscribers, um, the ones that stuck around when when I was out out for two years, and um, the new ones that have started subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate every one of you, so I do want to thank you for everything. And my channel's growing. Um, I, I got over two hundred subscribers. Yay! Okay, <laughs> that's nothing. I I want to be able to grow this channel and grow it up. So, and get more subscribers and try to do. So that's why I'm trying to get these videos out, up and out as much as possible. Also doing more live streams. And um, in these live streams, I do have my chat set up. And I do have, um, when I'm playing the game up in the corner, I have a little chat box. Because I use Xplot, Xbot. X split, not X spot, X split, which is what I'm recording this on. But I have two X split programs. So the one I'm recording on right now is um, the regular X split. The other one is a gaming, X split gaming, which allows me to play the game and have uh, HUDs so I can see the chat. The only problem is there's a delay in the chat. Um, it could be anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes. Uh, my channel is not big enough, so where I can pay somebody this to be on uh, the channel, to tell tell me what's going on in the chat and everything. So it's just one thing after another, and I, I'm I'm growing the channel. So now. One thing I want to do, like I said, um, I'm still waiting for my Social Security disability. I've been working all my life. I, it's been five years. I haven't worked for over five years other than doing these YouTube channels. And this is, well, it's, it's work. Um, but I'm able to stop and get up and do that. But I'm not making any money doing this, trust me. Um, I think the most, I, the highest I've made in one month is a dollar fifty. So I'm not making any money doing this YouTube channel yet until until I grow. But um, I do want to start another YouTube channel, and I also want to start a business. What I want to do is set up a nice coral reef like this, um, so I can. Um, set it up and start propagating the coral, grow the corals and start propagating which means taking cuttings if you have corals or plants they're living they're actually living in they're, they're living plants inside the ocean in the, inside a salt water ocean um, and they branch um, or spread out and you can take part you can 
do cuttings, just like cutting plants at, at home and root them and, and that. Well, you can do this, basically the same thing with corals. That's what propagating is. And one of the things I want to do is start up propagating corals and selling them to the local uh, fish stores. The reason why I want to do this is for two reasons. First, to start making some extra money. Second, propagated corals come from corals that are not, well, propagated corals are not taken from the reefs around the world. Okay? They're basically grown and propagated here wherever they're propagated then then sold either on uh, well, the way I'm going to try to do is sell them to my local um, fish stores or so, and sell them on eBay and the propagation of that is um, they're called captive bred corals so the corals I'm selling are not taken from the reefs so if you can buy propagated corals or um, certified coral um, propagation, you you don't take from the ocean and you're not destroying the reefs because because that's what you're doing. You're destroying the habitat of the reefs. Um, so I'll be setting uh, on my YouTube channel. I want to set up, show you how to set up. Um, a salt water tank. Now I did this. I had a salt water tank from eighty-five to eighty for eighty-five to ninety-six for ten for eleven years. And um, back then, it's a lot harder than it is now because the equipment's a lot more sophisticated, a lot more easier to run than it was back in the eighties and nineties. Um, you didn't have selection of corals that. You, that you have do that you do now you didn't have the it was still in its infancy and you didn't have a, you didn't have a lot of resources that you can look back at you didn't have YouTube back then uh, books there wasn't that many books out on the subject uh, unless you unless you belong to a re, uh, a fish club you you didn't get you didn't have much knowledge of what was going on and it took a lot of work to be able to maintain a saltwater aquarium now it's a lot easier and that's what I want to do on this video on this YouTube channel is show you all how to make set up the progression of this tank and set it up on my YouTube channel now the other thing I want to do And if you see these, these are clownfish. <laughs> okay, they're one of the most popular selling fish in the United States. Saltwater fish in the United States. And what I want to be able to do, it, there's, I think right now there's a total of 19 different species of clownfish. <coughs> and what I want to be able to do is start breeding and selling captive bred clownfish so they're not taken from the ocean we're not taken from the environment they are they are captive bred they are they've only or they've only lived in tanks they don't harm the environment and they actually are more hardier in the saltwater aquariums than their cousins that are taken out of the reefs out of the ocean they're more hardier because they're used to the aquarium they're born in the aquarium they were raised in the aquarium and when they get to the point where you can actually sell them it's a lot better and like I said you don't take from the environment and they propagate a lot more so there's there's a lot this is a good thing to do, and eventually what I want to do is once I get propagating cl clownfish and getting breeding not propagating once I start getting the clownfish bred, and I'm getting successful in that, 
the next thing I want to be able to do is breed other fish, saltwater fish, like mandarin gobies, um, gobies themselves, um, shrimp. Other f species of saltwater fish that are sold for aquariums but are s taken out from the ocean. So this way I can expand that and use my knowledge. But clownfish are one of the easiest ones to breed. And once I figure out how to take care of the fry, which is their babies, once I take figure out how to take care of the fries, I'll be able to get a good handle on what I am doing. Um, I'll be able to expand into different species of saltwater fish that are sold for aquariums. And the more captive bred fish that you sell, that's one less fish taken from the ocean. And if you watch a PBS special and stuff like that, um, sometimes some of the tactics, because these fish come from Philippines, Australia, off of India, and all that, some of the tactics that these guys get to capture them it's very harmful and um, very harmful it's they use they use this um, they necessitize these fish and they might get t collect 10 and out of that 10 only five survive because of the uh, medication that they sprayed these fish with to capture them so that's one of the reasons why why you um my dog's back one of the reasons why i want to be able to breed captive fish so what i i have done is i have actually set up a gofundme page because right now like i said i have zero income going on right now and what i would like to do is be able to set up this as a business so to where I'm not on the government payroll where I'm making enough money to survive um, to be able to live without being on government payroll I'm 52 years old and there's no way I'm going to be able to work again and I don't like being on I don't want to be on social security disability I want to be able to make my own money and basically I have to work from home and this would be a home based business well if you want to help me out this is the um, link down below and there's a link down below in the description this is um, my GoFundMe page it's at GoFundMe.com uh, forward slash Buddy's Reef and if you can help me out um, I know there's a lot of stuff. I know people don't trust us, but I'm trying to. I'm trying not to be a burden on taxpayers. Um, I've worked for 35 years of my life. I haven't worked. Damn. If I if I would not have been injured, I would have um, been working for 40 years. But I I haven't worked in five years. Um, still waiting for, for for my disability to kick in. I'm living off my mother right now, which I don't want to do. I want to be able to have an income. I want to be able to support myself and maybe turn around and support my mother like she's been supporting me because she's getting old. She's 76 years old. No, she's 77 years old. And she's had... She, she, She's still active and all that, but 77 years old, that's still a short time. And I I want to be able to help her out because she's just living on Social Security. And um, and very little... Um, she lives off Social Security and she has a retirement that she only gets $146 a month off of. So she's on a very fixed income. And what I want to be able to do is be able to support her so I don't have to do this. <laughs> so uh, so I don't have to sponge off of her. I want to be able to make enough money. Now, I know this will take a while. It will take a year to be able to set up. 
and be able to start propagating corals and uh, breeding breeding the fish because you got they got to be a certain age and um, they got to pair off and be mated. Then they start. Um, they got to be a bonded pair first, and they got to be. Then they got to start. Then figure out which one's the male, which one's the female. Then the female will lay the eggs, and they start spawning, and they become a mated pair. And after the f first couple spawns, you don't get that big of a, uh, of a um, hatchery. But and they only they do this once a month, so you have a ready supply. And once you get these, and then it takes six months to grow out these fish before you can sell them. So it takes a long time to be able to set up the um, breeding section, but and the, and the coral propagation is going to take mm, about I say it's going to take about a year before I can start propagating and, and being able to sell the corals. And the corals are expensive too, so. I, it's it's going to be a time, but I want to be able to do it, build a business out of it, and get off of Social Security disability, be able to live on my own, support my mother, so she doesn't have to. Um, so she has some extra money, not not counting. Like if I can still live here, I'm single. I'm divorced, actually. Um, I could still live here in the house because I live in a different section of the house, and I could still live here and start and you know start paying her money, so she doesn't have to spend her money and pay her actually rent to enough to where she can um, make house payments on because we live in a house. And make house payments on this, and pay, I'm going. I want to be able to pay her back for the five years she's been supporting, me, helping me out, and supporting me. She's actually only been supporting me for the last three years. The first two years, I had money, and all my money. After two years, all my money ran out. But um, she's been supporting me for the last three years, so I want to be able to pay her back of the money that she's she gave me, so I can be able to live. So that's one of the reasons why I set up this GoFundMe page. It's going to cost me... Actually, what I really wanted to do is set up a... Um, what do you call it? I want to set up a area where I can... I wanted to expand onto her house. Do an addition to her house to where I can set up... Um, racks of aquariums and stuff like that and I initially was going after $150,000 but I decided let me just start small so I'm asking for $50,000 just to help start this thing up so I'm not asking one of you to give me 50000 any money will help um, whether it be um, 10 cents or $10 anything will help me and I would appreciate it um, so I'm just going to end, end this for right now and like to th say thank you for watching if you like this video please like it on YouTube um, share it with your friends um, what else this uh, I do appreciate all my subscribers and I, I um, that stuck with me when I was off for two years and the new subscribers I have I appreciate every one of you and I, I just, I'm this seeing, I'm, I'm getting better, but I'm able to be more active. So uh, follow me. There's a list d down below of everything, like Twitter, my Twitter, my Facebook, uh, player.me, and there's my Steam account name if you want to try to be a friend, on, a friend of mine on Steam and, and so on. There's links down below. So I'd like to thank you again for watching, and you all have a great day.